to the stones or big rocks for a specific purpose. The Stonehenge, located at Salisbury Plains in England, is a perfect example of megalithic art. Did you know that Stonehenge is the England's most mysterious monument? Archaeologists assume that a Stonehenge is either a burial site because bodies have been found in this area. It is also linked to the Druids or priests as their place for preaching and to practice their ritual sacrifice. Or a spot to be used by early settlers to learn about astronomy. The questions are, who do you think built Stonehenge? And how was it built? During prehistoric age, people communicated their way of life, beliefs, and other practices through music and dance. Like Oyai or Hele that represents a mother's care and affection by singing her child to sleep. Oyai is a soothing song or piece of music that is usually played for children. They are used to pass down cultural knowledge or tradition. The most important use of lullabies is a sleep aid for infants. The music is simple and repetitive. It existed since ancient times. It also built a strong bond between the mother and the child. Kanyaw is a performance that was used to demonstrate the religious beliefs of a tribe. The natives from the Cordillera administrative region are performing the Kanyaw as a way of offering. They also dance kanyao for ceremony, celebrations, feast, illness, progress, and good harvest, where pigs, chickens, and carabaos are butchered. They dance in a circular steps by hopping and skipping in the tempo of sticks and gong. Cave painting was drawn on cave walls or ceilings. Humans mainly appear as pictures of hands, often hand stencils created by blowing pigments on a hand placed on a wall. Cave paintings were made from charcoal, mother clay, and animal fats. Body painting was occasionally done in the human skin and lasted a day or a few weeks, typically worn during events and gatherings. They used natural pigments of plants and fruits. Body paint was also used for marriage, preparation of war, death, and adulthood rituals. Many people associated factories and machinery with manufacturing. How do you think factories and computers are connected to each other? During this time, technology has shifted from using hand tools to running power-driven machines. Examples of these machines are the power loom and steam engine, which made the development and operation of factories better and easier. Industrial age has changed the people's way of life as new technologies such as steamboats and steam locomotives have made transportation easier. Selling of goods was improved. The idea of mass production or manufacture of products in large quantities has been implemented, increasing the need for larger and improved machines. The steam press was developed. The printing of materials like newspapers were much faster, cheaper, and easier. Industrial city is a location where many factories are located or constructed. Such factories employ local people as employer staff. Different factories also produce different products, such as textiles, paper products, electronic parts, and chemical products. Communication during the Industrial Age was also made possible by the invention of the telegraph. The telegraph is a device used to relay messages from a distance through a wire. William Cook and Charles Whitstone patented the first commercial electric telegraph in 1837. Electronic Age the word electronic is generally associated with the products that use using electricity. Desktop computers and television sets are types of electronic devices. But what exactly does electronic mean? Electronic refers to an item that has electronic components, such as sensors, transistors, and microchips, which work when connected to an electrical outlet. 
people used the power of transistors that contributed to transistor radio, electric circuits, and early computers. Some gadgets invented during electronic age are floppy disk, camera, Walkman using cassette players, programmable calculator, overhead projector, and bulky computers. Electronic age marked the start of modernization process as electronic equipment became more functional and reliable. Long-distance communication has become more effective in this period. Let us go to information age. With the use of technology, we can collect information faster, everywhere, and anywhere. People may visit the websites of online newspapers or institutions that provide the particular information that they need. Nowadays, important details are not only expressed through texts, but also in the form of images, videos, and music. New media channels are also available online, as well as the installed applications on the latest devices such as iPads and tablets. For such information can now be saved, accessed, and exchanged in general. Information age is often known as the digital age or the new age, because it has given rise to new media and digital technologies. While most devices still operated by electricity during this period, their multifunctional capabilities include sending text messages, making video calls, listening to music, playing games, and even watching films that make them differ from the machines used in the electronic age. Information age has improved what it can offer to consumers with regard to gadgets and devices that can make their way of life not only functional and comfortable, but also deliver endless possibilities. New media is certainly very useful at the present time. But this does not mean that traditional media has already become useless. Traditional media is also important and popular, as it has a broader scope and a larger audience. Some people, for example, live in rural areas where there is no electricity. Because of this, they cannot use the internet to search for the latest news. Despite of this, they can still be aware and educated by listening to the radio and reading newspapers. In fact, some of the older generation still prefers the use of traditional media as they find the old-fashioned newspapers as a credible source of information written by veteran journalists. On the other hand, some older people still love digital technology, using the newest devices and heading to movie houses. Choosing of media is based on one's needs, desires, and lifestyle. Because both traditional media and new media will fulfill their goal of keeping the people informed and helping us remain connected. Nowadays, accessing information and communication with others is simple and convenient since there are different types of media that we can use. Besides, inventors who have made high-end devices to enhance our information and communication technology. With these theories, our modes of communication have become more powerful and reliable. Media Richness Theory it is also referred to as information richness theory. Richard L. Daff and Robert H. Hagel introduced this theory in 1980s. In this notion, communication acts as a medium that can reproduce information. Major richness theory can be used to determine the richness or multifunctional capabilities of different forms of communication, such as phone calls, video conferences, and emails. According to this theory, personal communication strategies like texting and making video calls are usually more effective than other media types as the desired message is delivered directly to the receiver. Information processing theory suggests 
that human process the information they receive instead of simply responding to stimuli. Also, 